Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Force of this Tribulation Institute. I just saw something at the Canadian Preppers YouTube site and you need to hear this. Sorry about that. That's all I can say about that, but 17 kilograms of explosives were intended to kill Vladimir Putin, according to Build Research, a German news agency. The Ukrainian Secret Service attempted to assassinate Russian President Vladimir Putin with a kamikaze drone on Sunday. So not months ago, when the war was really, really raging, Sunday. Understand the timeline of events. What else has happened this week? Quite a bit. A bomb detonated in St. Petersburg. It appears as though it might have been a drone intended for an air base in that region. The Russians are trying to play it down. Anything the Russians try to play down, it likely was a legit attack attempt because they don't want to spook the population. Anyways, uh, they're trying to chalk it up to unexploded World War II ordnance or something like that. But yesterday, President Putin rushing to the Kremlin with his motorcade, allegedly, there's video of it. Is it true? It doesn't really matter. If this is true, then this is absolutely terrifying because understand what the implications are. If this is where we're at in terms of de-confliction potential, if we are trying to assassinate each other's leaders at this point in the game, then people better... I don't want to say, what more can I say at this point? You know, you better be prepared. Yada, yada, yada. You heard it all before, but guys, this is. You heard him say it, you know. I've been saying it for a long time, you know. I can't predict the future and I don't have a crystal ball. But the Bible talks about the end times. There's so many prophecies there all throughout the Bible. And they're being fulfilled uh, right before our very eyes. Um, are we going? Is it going to be World War Three? Absolutely. The United States has got to fall. Babylon will fall. Um, you know, I believe. Yeah, I'm not trying to tell you what to do or when to do it, but in my opinion, you know, believers, if you haven't left the cities and already have a bug out place to, uh, to go to or a place to to go to period if you haven't cut ties with those cities you need to we need to come out of the system totally you, know, you can't hide from the beast only God's protection and his hand over us and his feeding us and giving us everything we need. Uh, not going to make it through this great tribulation that's soon to come. We're in the birth pains right now. Anyway, no need to panic. Just want to let you know that uh, this is serious business. Let's see what else he's got to say. Huge. Okay, although the assassination attempt failed, the attempt is being kept secret by Russian authorities. Now... This was a drone, there were several drones, in fact, discovered in and around Moscow. They had C4, about 17 kilos of C4, and apparently this particular drone was intended for a place that Putin was scheduled to visit. Now, because the Kremlin is so paranoid, and rightfully so, uh, they tend to encrypt a lot of uh, Putin's schedule. So if they say he's going to be somewhere on one day, he might show up a few days before, maybe a week before. It's always by surprise. So but the likelihood of this drone actually successfully hitting its target was almost slim to none. But if this is the intention, and this was a top-down directive orchestrated by what Build Research is saying is the Ukrainian Secret Service... If that directive was given by Zelensky, and I know we're getting kind of out into the weeds now, but if that directive was greenlit by NATO and the United States, recall just a few days ago, I believe it was Boris Pistorius, the German defense minister, who tacitly gave the green light to Ukraine to attack within Russia. And it's a war. So, of course, you know, the, the Ukrainians don't need that approval, but understand what this means. This means that uh, that call by Xi Jinping to Zelensky 
was a last Hail Mary attempt, just like I predicted. And uh, we're getting... Last Hail Mary attempt. Before what? Before Putin makes good on some of his threats. He's made a bunch. Anyway, uh, you need to seek God in prayer to see when it's time for you to get out. And it needs to be the highest priority. And, you, and for those you say, well, I, there's just no way. Keep looking. Pray. There is a way. Yah will make a way. But you have to be set in your mind that you're going to find one. Anyway, have a blessed day. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. Hit the notifications uh, button, the bell for all. So you can receive uh, the next updates on this prophecy news. Full, not fulfillment, but just things that are leading to it. Um, and share with as many people as you think need to hear this message. So until next time, y'all bless.